Hello, this is Pallavi Barman and we at HRX are doing something very special this Mental Health Day. We're just collecting small nuggets of wisdom which can probably help you take your fitness levels both physical and mental to another level. These are basically just very 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 small and basic tips which if you implement on a daily basis in your lives we are sure that it can definitely definitely enrich in your lives in very very special and subtle ways so here we are bringing you certain topics which may just end up helping you and um, like i said take your mental and uh, physical well-being to another level so here you go small nuggets of wisdom strung together by palavi from hrx so let's get started by figuring how are these two interdependable right i mean physical health usually is perceived to be more important because people kind of pay a lot of attention to their physicality to the way they look some people actually truly understand what fitness levels mean and what is it that they need to do to acquire being truly fit um but mental well being and mental health has a lot to do in shaping you up physically and i'm just going to bring out a couple of very very basic points uh let's say you have not rested your mind enough which means you're not sleeping well over nights over days this phenomena continues and you wake up with a certain sense of lethargy uh, you do end up dragging yourself out for physical work strenuous work in the field but actually if you drill down deeper to assess your progress you will realize that working out in a situation like this where your mind is not at rest really will not really have much effect on your physicality which means the effects will not really show well people attribute good sleep to a lot of other things also people say muscular growth happens when you sleep body recovery happens but most important is your mind gets rested and your heart gets rested second important thing that i want to highlight in this note is the fact that people give too much emphasis to hours of sleep but for true mental health for good mental health what's really imperative is deep sleep so our sleep is actually divided into rem sleep and deep sleep zones please ensure that when you sleep deep that deep sleep phase at least lasts for 4 hours or more that's when your mind actually recovers and gives you a very very um good output in terms of a well rested mind uh, there's something called a circadian rhythm for the body if you want to attain a good mental le- mental health level along with physically being successful in attaining a certain body form please don't mess with that rhythm the rhythm says that you should probably get start getting to uh, sleep induce yourself around a 9 9:30 kind of a time frame try waking up early follow your body's rhythm and do a lot of things keeping in mind how your body reacts to the body clock um so do not kind of disturb that rhythm go with that rhythm that helps in balancing physical and mental health by now all of us have read enough articles ha- and have gathered enough evidence about the fact that when you indulge in physical activity there are, there are happy hormones which are secreted by your body called endorphins which immediately uplift your mood or rather up your state of mind take it to a positive level where you start feeling very good about yourself i mean essentially what you end up doing is um you create moments of gratification for yourself because you have spent time for yourself doing something that you will benefit from and um, of course the results if they show soon then that's a huge confidence boost as well as a great gratification for your efforts paying off in a great way hence that's how physical and mental health stay connected very very closely do not ignore if you consistently wake up fatigued consistently are in a foul mood because in my personal experience i have actually realized um that there were there were parts there were phases in my life when i used to go through very very depressive pms uh phases and i started decoding and understanding it 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 used to have a very deep impa- impact on my um mental framework especially in those days resulting in bouts of anger depression outburst of emotions and when i actually sat down to scrutinize this i realized as this this particular uh disturbance in my mental state was because of uh, a fluctuation in my hormones and 
delving deeper into it, I realized it was all interrelated: thyroid, progesterone, estrogen, estrogen, the female reproductive system, and all of it kind of came together like a puzzle. And I was able to understand what is it that I need to do to solve this. So, the short of it is that if there is any change in your mental state, if you start feeling sudden bouts of anger, depression, an emotional outburst. please do not write it off please pay attention to it more often than not these are indicators of poor mental health please speak to someone who you think can help you uh physical activity on an ongoing basis is great for keeping the balance um in your uh mental framework so do not ignore that to make it a regular habit to practice any kind of exercise routine or workout for at least 30 minutes a day because that that has a very good low benefit in the long run so pay attention to yourself understand your body rhythm do not ignore the messages the body is giving out so much so that the formation of wax in your ears guys and the accumulation of the white layer on your tongue also is an indicator of how your gut is doing how your mind is behaving and how your whole body is reacting to all of that so do not ignore indicators reach out to the first person who you think can be helpful in sorting out matters take this seriously as seriously as you would take uh your physical form and please 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 stay safe stay happy talk to people find your support system and take very good care of yourself wishing you the best on mental health day from hrx signing off palavi parman thank you so much